Practitioner Nina Elliott talks with us today about the Time Weaver, a device which remotely delivers healing frequencies to its subjects. It's proven so effective that in other countries it's actually licensed as a medical device. And because this is a remote technology, it's accessible from anywhere in the world. You know, in, in Europe, a Time Weaver is actually um, licensed as a medical device. So, oh. it, it, yeah, they, you know, the U.S. FDA, they won't allow that here. So it's uh, marketed as a personal development assistant. Um, but there are medical doctors using Time Weaver around the world in order to help their clients get results and improve the results that they're having with their clients. The question I ask just about everybody, how did you get into this? I mean, this is really interesting stuff. What drew you to it? It is interesting stuff. Um, so I, I started out, I, I've been a massage therapist for about 14 years now. Okay. And in doing massage, you know, one of the things they surprised me, right? In massage school, they told us the average life of a massage therapist was only about, not life, career span of a massage therapist was only about seven years. Most mm -hmm. massage therapists will essentially injure themselves so much that they will give up the career and move on to something else after seven years. Gotcha. So I knew that I needed to use my body in a way that would be helpful for me and create a long-term career, but also find other things that I would be able to incorporate into my practice that would help my clients and also save my hands and my body. Um, so I uh, have been a long time meditator and my meditation group puts on a camp for kids. And one of my team members, when I asked him what he did, he said he did time waiver. And so I was curious and we had, uh, we had about a two hour conversation where he explained time waiver and what it was and how it worked and how he used it for businesses to help businesses grow and improve their marketing and their staff and their relationship with internally and externally. And I just found it so fascinating like the conversation just energized me it created bubbles and excitement and I'm like I have to have that it will be so powerful for my clients and it's another tool I can use and uh, as well as a tool that can help me dive into the cause of a client's pain or problem not just treat a symptom which is really important for me because I, I think that's a lot of what conventional medicine does is treat symptoms and I wanted to go deeper than that and right. uh, so based on that conversation, I bought a time waiver and started working with it. And that was about six years ago now. Wow, that's fantastic. So um, this is all based around, I guess, well, you had mentioned that we're all light and sound frequencies, right? And yeah. somehow this time weaver works with that and remotely interacts with your clients. Can you tell us a little bit about how that works? I'm relatively familiar with the Healy, which is like a home version of what you have. You have the, 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 the pro, the advanced, like, yeah, the fantastic version. And yes. I, I want to hear about how that works. Um, but yeah, so it works with light and sound frequencies and it sends this vibration remotely, right? To it your does. clients. Yes. Yes. So I have clients in person and I also have clients remote from around the world. And um, how I describe it is that like a TV. Okay. So there's TV channels in the air all around us all the time. Right. But you don't feel them or notice them. Right. Until you have a TV that can tune in to that particular frequency or channel. And then you can see what's going on. You can watch the show that you want to watch. Right. So we have our own energy bodies, energy channels running in and around us all the time. I know um, one person who can see nine different energy systems in a human being, right? Wow. So we have chakras and auras and meridians and nadis and different things, right? So we have our own energy channels that we normally don't pay attention to. Um, again, some people will notice them or feel them or work with them. And time weavers like the TV. It can tune into your energy channels 
in order to see what's going on in those channels. And not only will it watch, observe, and see what's going on, but then it can also send you the information to help bring those channels back into balance and get the energy flowing through those channels again. Wow. And okay. So yeah, so Time Weaver is, is based in quantum physics where we can work outside of time and space. And when you can work okay. outside of time and space, then it doesn't matter where you are in the world, Time Waver can tune in to you. If I take that TV example a little further, right? it doesn't matter if the TV is in my house in Colorado Springs or your house on the East Coast, we can both watch CBS. Right? It doesn't sure. matter. The broadcast is there. The frequency is there. We just need a, a device. Well, I, guess the, I guess the big, um, the, the, maybe, maybe the difference there would be um, the TV would have to be in the vicinity of the signal. Right. And with, I guess, quantum physics, that signal is everywhere instantaneously uh, across right. the world, which is really hard to um, get my, my head around. Um, but I mean, I, I experienced it for myself. So I'm going to say for the record, I, I, I believe all of that to be true. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I will say also that a number of years ago, I absolutely would say that is not true at all, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But because I've experienced this stuff time and time and time again, remotely, remote work, um, I, you know, I would have to say this, this concept is accurate and it works and pe people should try it because it's a thing, even though it's hard to understand. Um, even, you know, I'm a believer and I don't understand it. Um, like this is a sort of a, like a biofeedback. Is that right? Um, I know biofeedback technology has been around since the fifties and that is a device. I don't know back then if they did the remote work, but you could hold some sort of uh, paddles or something like devices, mm -hmm. and it would be able to determine what your body needs, where, it, um, where it lacks. Mm -hmm. And it would then also send some sort of signal that could support where you're deficient. Right. Um, and that actually has been around for a very long time. Now, you know, we're getting more and more into technology and I would imagine that's advanced an awful lot over the years. And now we have things that work in a remote way because that is absolutely possible. Um, when I was trying to figure out Reiki and distance work with Reiki, because I had a hard time getting my head around that. I, you know, I still do. Um, <laughs> um, but I was diving into a lot of uh, books written by um, practicing doctors and, and what I thought was interesting, they started quoting a number of different devices that were being created to replicate the healing hands of, you know, spiritual people or monks or people that, you know, claim that they can, they have these um, abilities. Right. Yeah. So um but they were like, you know, and this was very, this was about 10 years ago. Um, this was very early on in me trying to open my eyes, trying to crack my eyes open to all of this stuff. Um, and they were like, you know, so these devices are now being created to duplicate what people can do. Mm -hmm. So people can um, give off energy. They could do it in a remote setting. And now they're for medical, from, for, from a, a medical standpoint, they're um, building these devices to help people. It sounds like what you have is one of those machines. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. Um, I, I like the term uh, bioresonance hmm. device, right? Because Time Waver is all about um, what is resonating with your body right now, right? What is resonating with, whether it's your physical body, your emotional or mental body, what is resonating with it right now? And that's what you need or um, want more of in your system. And um, yeah, it's helpful to have this device because unlike Reiki, which would be more of a one-on-one -on -one session, right? I have to channel the energy, send it to whoever I'm sending it to you. And then when I stop sending it, the session is over, it's done. Um, whereas with Reiki, with Time Waver, we figure out what energy you need, what information you need, what vibration, right? And then I put that into a queue. 
And so Time Weaver is constantly running. So cool. And let's say you need a minute and 20 seconds of this information, this energy, every nine hours. And I'll send that to you for three weeks. And so the system just puts you in queue and every nine hours, you are gonna receive a minute and 20 seconds of that information um, so that you get that continual support throughout those weeks. Um, you know, our- and what energy... would you say the benefit is of having, um, you know, a fairly short cycle, but on a regular basis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, our energy systems get into habits, just like we get into habits. Right? We're, you know, right with the right hand, brush our teeth in a certain way. We get into these habits and routines. And our energy systems also get into habits or routines based on thoughts, emotions, and activities. Um, and so if we want a different body, we want a different mindset, then we have to break that habit. And so by sending you this information on a regular basis um, for several weeks, three weeks, maybe four, right? Then we shift that energy pattern. We change that habit and get you into a new space. Wow. Yeah, and then we can come back and reassess and see what are those things from three weeks ago are still relevant, if any. Generally, if we had 20 things on the list, now maybe you have three or four. Um, and if the issue is not resolved for you, then what's the next layer that we need to take off, right? We are layered beings. <laughs> and so sometimes once is not enough, we need to take off another layer and dive deeper. And so we just continue that process until you get the results that you're looking for. So how do you assign the frequency to a person? So in our first session, I will tune Time Weaver into your energy channels. Uh, so if you're in person, I'll have you place your hand on the device. If you're remote, then I use your picture. And we can use your picture because that actually captures a little bit of your energy in okay. order to tune Time Weaver into your frequencies, to your energy channels. And then Time Weaver can find you wherever you are in the world. That's so crazy. And, yeah, <laughs> okay, send really and receive. Is. Yep. Yeah, so if you take a vacation and you end up getting sick, no problem. You can call me and we can figure out what vibrations you need in order to kill off the bug and get you back to you enjoying your vacation. Now, do you find that that works well? I mean, that it, it really gets you out of that cold or, or that sickness at a, at a faster rate? It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the first cool. time, first time I did it, I actually did it on myself, right? And I was having some sinus issues, and I did my my scans, my analysis, and then I vibrated those frequencies, whatever came up to me, and I could feel things moving in my sinuses. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, actually, just last week um, or earlier this week, I actually just felt like I was going to start, you know, I was starting to come down with something mm -hmm. really tired again, felt a little stuffy, a little puffy under here. And, um, we determined what frequencies I needed. And this time we used electrical frequencies. Uh, so electrical yes. current. So, um, like the Healy uses, but time waiver frequency also does that. Um, we use the electrical frequencies, 20 minutes. I felt better and, have felt good since. No longer feel like I'm coming down. And when you say electrical frequencies, what do you mean by that? Like in-person um, electrical frequencies or? Well, yeah. So Time Weaver has the ability to do, uh, I'll say at least two, um, really three different things, right? On okay. one level, we can work on that information field, which is outside of time and space. And it's information. What information does your system need in order to make changes and do things differently? On the other hand, it can use frequencies or electrical current in order to, again, change how cells are communicating, change the cell membrane voltage so that it can come up to a healthier voltage again. And so <clears throat> the electrical current, um, I did it in person holding okay. electrodes. I okay. have also very often used it remotely. So oh, okay. I will often get a hair sample from a client and place the electrodes on the hair sample and then send the frequencies and they receive them and they feel better. They notice the changes. Now, do people actually feel this on the other end? Well, so what they feel is the difference. Gotcha. You won't really feel maybe the electrical current, but you feel better. You feel gotcha. the shift, you feel the change. And even with time waiver, with the information field where there's no electrical current, 
I will have clients, you know, sit and focus, just be open to receiving while I'm sending the information. It's photons and quantum noise that I'm sending you. But sometimes there's a sensation with it. And whether they're in person or remote, very often they can feel it. Maybe it's a tingling sensation or warmth or um, a buzz or a suction feeling, all sorts of different things. Uh, very often they can feel it when they're focused on receiving. Generally, when it's on that schedule, it's in that queue, you're going about your daily business, you're focused on the outside world and you don't even notice it's happening. That makes sense. So I had written down here, well, you mentioned electrical current. Mm -hmm. I had read, uh, written down here, uh, blue dot information field ma um, machine and pink dot electrical current. Yes. So is that relating? Is that related to what you're talking about? It is. So that's okay. related to, to the Healy. <laughs> um, so the Healy is the at home version of Time Waver. Uh, the Time Waver uh, company, you know, was so in love with this, this technology and this work and the results that people get, right, that they wanted to put it in the hands of the people, right. give them something that they can use at home that's affordable, you know, that everybody can use to improve their health and well-being on all sorts of different levels. And so the Healy is that at home version. It's a small okay. device that connects. And that's what they mean by the blue dot and the pink dot. They're different, uh, they're uh, different, different versions of the Healy. Right. Well, the okay. different applications. So the Healy is a small device okay. that will connect to an app on your phone. And so there's two apps on the phone, a pink dot, which is more on the electrical side. It still scans the body and scans the information field to determine which frequencies you need at the moment hmm. out of a select group in a program. Uh, and then the blue dot is pure information field pure energy vibration, uh, no electrical current. So again, it's gonna scan the body, compare database entries to see which database entries resonate with you and that's what you need, and then send them to you through that information field. How would you uh, say that yours compares to the Healy? I mean, I, I get the concept of home version versus like a more commercial industrial version, but when you're dealing with quantum physics, I mean, <laughs> how, how does that really make a difference? Yeah, well, so the time we were, uh, works on a system of databases, right? Okay. Um, it's a computer application or a phone application, but it works on a system of databases. So it takes each database entry and checks in with your system, see what resonates with you and what doesn't, comes back with how relevant something is for you, how intense, and what level? Is it physical, mental, or spiritual? And so with my professional version, the Time Weaver, um, I have over half a million database entries. Wow. And I can continue, I can create more database entries anytime I want um, with whatever information I want. Um, so the Healy and the Blue Dot has much fewer database entries. Um, I don't know the exact number, but let's just say it's more in the ballpark of a thousand or two thousand. Makes sense. Yeah, and, and then with the frequency portion of it, again, in the Healy, you're gonna have uh, preset programs. Um, they'll do a little bit of checking in with you to see how you're dealing with a frequency, uh, but they're preset. And so you use what you think is relevant for you, right, based on what you're experiencing. Okay. Um, with Time Waver, I can create something that's totally custom. It's not preset. I can say you're dealing with um, diabetes, let me pull up my diabetes databases. Let me pull up databases around the pancreas. Let me pull up databases about blood glucose, you know, and now we're going to take all these frequencies in these databases, check in with your system to see exactly which ones you need to help you with your version of diabetes. And then I can send those to you or load it onto your healing as a custom program. Well, that that's really cool. Um, in addition to time weaver, do you use any other sort of uh, vibrational tools with your clients? Uh, yes, yes. So especially when a client is in person, I love to use sound. Um, you know, we are light and sound vibration. Light and sound are some of the easiest ways to include vibration or energy healing into your life. And so I play music at certain frequencies, certain vibrations along the solfeggio frequencies that are very healing. They do DNA repair, cell repair, open the heart, all sorts of different things can help with detoxing as well. So I love using sound 
And then also light. So here in our office in Colorado Springs, I have an infrared sauna, which is using the infrared light waves in okay. order to um, impact the body, right? We have near, mid, and far infrared light that penetrates the body at different levels and can benefit in different ways by helping the skin, helping the body detox. Um, yeah, I've heard very good things about the uh, infrared sauna. Yeah. Yeah, it heats you from the core, uh, so it can boost your immune system. Uh, really amazing things. Does pain relief by reducing inflammation in the body. So I really wow. encourage my clients to take advantage of the infrared sauna. And then something new I've been working with is um, a patch called LifeWave. And this patch is this awesome technology. It was originally developed for the government, for the Navy SEALs, to help them stay awake and active on these long missions. Okay, like a caffeine and, patch? Right. Well, they wanted to give them a way to get, right, have that energy without caffeine. Because, of course, with caffeine, you have the crash. Okay. And, and so the, the researcher what he created was a patch that is non-transdermal. So there's no medications or pharmaceuticals. There's nothing um, hmm. chemical transferring from the patch into the body. The patch has these nano crystals that reflect back the body's natural infrared light, right? We are light beings as well. We put off light. We emit an infrared light as well as photons. Um, and so it will reflect that back at a slightly different frequency in order to um, stimulate production of different proteins in the body. And so there's a patch to increase your energy level. There's a patch to um, take away pain and reduce inflammation. There's a patch to increase your stamina. Uh, really? That's to, really interesting. Okay. Yeah. There's a patch to increase glutathione, a powerful antioxidant in the in the body. Um, yeah. So now, do they still use this in the military, or was it just kind of a trial thing? Or, um, you know, I believe it still is. I think they, you know, stopped funding for some reason, and so he moved okay. on to creating his own company out of it. I see. Um, so, and the the latest. The latest patch that he's done, and I think it's been out about two or three years now, is a patch to stimulate stem cell production. Again, it, it really? stimulates a certain copper peptide in the body that will trickle down and eventually create stem cells in the body. So you can get younger as you get older. I, I, would, I would love it if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. Well, can you yeah. share some... Um, maybe some stories that you've experienced or witnessed um, with, with any of your clients or yourself, um, you know, during some of these uh, therapeutics, the, the, you know, vibrational therapies. Yeah, sure. Um, one of my very first clients, we were working with her with time weaver, all information field, no electrical current. And we were mostly working on, relationships and challenging relationships that she was having with her husband and with her kids and you know she really just wanted to improve those relationships and as we were working through that over a couple of months um the the relationships improved uh, what she was very pleased with but she, then she came to realize she came to realize that her digestion had also improved and we had never specifically worked on the digestion so it was really interesting to see how these emotional components and resolving those affected the physical body and improving her, her physical body. Um, more recently, I've worked with a, a gentleman who is a type two diabetic. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this last two months, we've been working together about six months. In the last two or three months, he's actually had to be concerned about his blood sugar dropping too low. Um, wow. because he, we've improved his blood sugar numbers so much. Uh, that sometimes it dips a little too low. So he's excited to go back to his doctor and, and be able to get some changes in his medication. That's fantastic. 
Yeah. Very good to hear. Yeah, wow. it really is. And, you know, sometimes like I, I'm a holistic pain relief specialist. So if I have a client coming in with pain, uh, we'll check out time waiver. I do what's called a cause analysis and figure out, you know, what's the cause of this pain? Is it really just physical? Is there a bigger emotional or mental component to it or spiritual or environmental component to it? And sometimes we'll find that it's a big emotional or mental component. We'll get the details. I'll vibrate that to them for about six minutes here in session. And, and the pain either cuts in half or drops down to a two or lower. Wow. Um, from a six or seven down to a two or less. And can you do that sort of work uh, remotely as well? Or is that yes. sort of work? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. You, I had written down something about a tear in the meniscus. Was that mm -hmm. um, a injury that you had personally or? Is that um, also with someone you no, were working with? That was with a client. Okay. With a client, yeah. And we, um, for the tear in the meniscus, we used frequencies. So we did use electrical current and we used um, a dual current system. And it's called frequency specific microcurrent. Again, it's through Time Weaver. And um, we have frequencies to reduce inflammation in a particular tissue type, like the men, uh, cartilage that is meniscus and to also fix something that is torn or broken like again the cartilage which is the meniscus mm -hmm. and so after running that for a session she could get up and move better you know it took more than one session but it uh it definitely made an impact after just one session on how she could move and felt more free to move and didn't have to worry about it or limp on it for a couple of minutes you know for things to warm up you know so she definitely noticed a an immediate difference. Yeah. So, you know, my big mission with this uh, healing hub, the global healing hub is to make people, to allow people to be, to be more informed about what is available. And, you know, again, even for, I am a believer in what it is you do in this sort of technology, this uh, um, quantum entanglement of healing, right? Yeah. Um, that being said, it's, it's, it's still very difficult to get my head around. And for the people that have not personally experienced this, I totally get why they're skeptical of this sort of technology and these sort of um, these particular healing methods. Um, but what I'm here, what I stand for is just go out there and try something a little different, try something a little new. You know, when you realize that this stuff actually works, it, it puts a little bit of a spin on like kind of a reality check of like, how do things work? And that's, that's been my, that was my biggest debacle when I left. Um, well, it was a Tony Robbins event and mm -hmm. I was presented with a bunch of this stuff. It, it challenged my belief system. Um, and it still continues. The more I dive down this rabbit hole, it still continues to challenge my belief system. That being said, this stuff really works. And regardless of whether someone believes it or doesn't believe it, just try it. And you might be surprised, right? Yeah. But what I, I encourage, would encourage people to do is to try this type of technology, to reach out to you, um, to get some Reiki work done, not only in person, but, but uh, remotely. And, you know, I would say 60% of the people that get like energetic work done actually feel it. And it's crazy when you do. It's crazy when you do, because how could that possibly happen right yep i hear that <laughs> all the time all the time yeah. i feel so, something um, in my back but maybe it's just in my head i'm like was it in your head before no it was real before it has changed it really has changed yeah so and, um you know please like reach out to you reach out to others on the uh, global um, healing site and yeah just step out of the box and and, and explore um, that's what I'm trying to do. And that's why I'm here is to inform people. Do you see this sort of technology merging with the medical arena anytime soon? Like, I do. Do you? Okay. I do. I, I and do. I like to hear that. Yeah. I hear a lot of people saying, no, there's a strong departure. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm witnessing some merger, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm 
sorry, I cut you off. No, no, that's okay. I, I, I do see it. Um, you know, in, in Europe, the time waiver is actually um, licensed as a medical device. So oh. it, it, yeah, they, you know, the US FDA, they won't allow that here. So it's uh, marketed as a personal development assistant. Um, but there are medical doctors using time waiver around the world in order to help their clients get results and improve the results that they're having with their clients. And the thing that I've seen here in the US is, I mean, I have medical doctors referring clients to me. So I have one or two that are more on the functional side of medicine that will refer people to me. So gotcha. that's, that's fabulous. That's a step in the right direction, right? right. Um, and with the Healy, you know, being more electrical current, it's a little hard easier for people to get their heads around. Um, I've seen that there's a lot of medical doctors uh, that have 20 Healy's and they rent them out or give them to their clients for a period of time with a prescription of what programs to run in order to, again, improve their, their healing path and speed up their recovery. Uh, wow. So, so that's starting to make a shift. Uh, not as big as I would love, of course, but there's a shift happening. That's wonderful. Yeah, I know there's a, I was told the other day of a doctor that a friend of mine goes to on a semi-regular basis, because um, she has stuff. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, he's an integrative doctor. And he works mostly with um, frequency and, and light to do a lot of the healing. And the work that he's been able to do on my friend um, has strongly outweighed the work, the medicine that she has been given to try and cope with those issues. So she's gotten a lot of further with the energetic stuff, the frequency stuff, the light, the sound, than I guess whatever she was prescribed with the, you know, the more conventional doctors. Um, yeah. But, you know, she had quite a few stories about him and the success that he's had. And it, it's really, it's pretty amazing to hear. And it's nice that actual doctors, you know, people with that sort of label, right, right. Yeah, are, mm -hmm. are starting to venture down that road. Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, the pharmaceuticals, they're, they're chemicals, and they all have their own vibration as well. Right. Um, but at our, at our core we're not just a bunch of chemicals, right? We are that vibration, light, sound, information, this vibration. And so if we can work more on that level, you're working at the core level, you're working at the foundation instead of working up here, you know, at the roof, right? You right. want to fix the foundation. Um, and that's by working at the energetic and information level. Uh, so hopefully we'll, continue through these discussions and uh, opening people's minds and educating them and hopefully again expand this work so that people can get the results they're looking for because they are working on the foundation and not just the symptoms and that surface level perfect yeah um is there anything else that you wanted to add before we uh, started to wrap things up you know i think just uh, the perspective right i know this is mind-blowing information um, but think about that time when you, you know, wanted to reach out to a loved one that you haven't seen in a long time. Oh, I need to talk to them. I need to text them. I need to connect with them. And then, you know, the next thing you know, they're calling you or they're texting you, right? It's because you've put a vibration out to the information field. And because of the connection between you and that person, they've brought it down into the physical and taken the action on it. So there's examples of this all the time. And it's in our language too, right? Right. I really resonate with what you said. Um, that person gives me good vibes. We're, we're good. You know, I feel good with that person. This resonance and vibration, it's in our language, it's in our culture, because it's who we are at the core. And so just continue opening your mind and expanding to that. That's part of how I view myself as an educator. Part of what I do is just helping people learn and opening up their minds to these new possibilities uh, and new ways to heal at the core, healing the cause so that everything else just falls into place.